Hey everyone, M1 Shadow here. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the 22 LR as a self-defense round. One of the reasons I'm doing this video is because a couple people I know recently have been going for their concealed carry permits, and they were asking me their thoughts on a 22. And the reason why is because these are people that don't have much shooting experience, and they said they feel more comfortable with the 22 because it doesn't have much more uh, much recoil. Uh, actually, basically little, little to none. So their uh, their concern is they don't want something that kicks a lot. So I guess the best way that I could describe this is I'm going to break this up into two questions I would ask myself on getting a round for self defense. So the first question we ask is the 22 capable of stopping someone in a self defense situation, and I would have to say with good shot placement, which is probably the most important thing, along with using like a really good hollow point bullet. Uh, yes, it's absolutely capable of stopping someone in a self-defense situation. Uh, the 22 is, is often a very underestimated round. I've even done videos in the past. I'll even put uh, some in the link uh, showing that the, the 22 is definitely not a round to be underestimated and uh, definitely is capable of stopping power. So the next question is, would the 22 be my first choice as a self-defense round? And I'm gonna have to say no, and I want you to hear me out on that. Uh, the biggest reason is, is like I said, yes, uh, I mentioned before, uh, shot placement is very important, probably one of the most important things. But you have to remember something, when you're in a self-defense situation, uh, your shooting is not always gonna be as accurate as it is when you're at the range because your stress is up. And if you, let's say, don't get a really well-placed shot, uh, yes, of course, with a bigger round, it, it may not stop them either. But at the end of the day, more stopping power is, is definitely better. And if you have a bigger caliber, your chances of stopping somebody with something else, if you don't get a well-placed shot, are definitely a lot better than if you were to hit them with something like the 22. Now, am I saying you have to go out and get the biggest, baddest round either? Uh, no, absolutely not. As, you know, definitely, if it comes to my life being on the line, I would just rather something bigger than a 22. And you have to remember, as far as the recoil, that's something you get used to if you go to the range and, and practice, which you should do anyway. And uh, if it comes to my life being on the line, I'd rather have a little recoil than take the chance of not being able to stop the person. Anyway, this is my thoughts on this, and I'd like to hear what you think. As always, I do want to thank you all for watching, and have a good one.